So, you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. If you want my overall non-spoiler thoughts on the film, it's up on the channel now. But now, let's get into some spoilers. What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and let's talk about the things I couldn't speak on from the non-spoiler review. So first off, Rocket's story, as I've said, is so incredibly tragic and sad. Heartbreaking. The friendships built between Rocket, Lila, Floor, and Tiefs was well executed. They're tortured and abused, but they find each other and need each other during this time. So when they all die, I felt that in my core. Rocket's guttural scream was so painful it had me tearing up. Rocket completely loses it and scratches the High Evolutionary numerous times. I was cheering for Rocket, you just hate Chuck Woody in this movie so much and that's cause he plays such a fantastic villain. Then later in the film, the scene that was most shocking was when the High Evolutionary's mask falls off and you see the skeleton, the gore, the disturbing image of what Rocket scratching resulted in. That looks straight out of a rated R movie. Marvel Studios let James Gunn cook and he pushed the envelope. Mature graphic content, this is good progression. Also, real quick, the cameos were really fun. My favorite one was Howard the Duck, voiced by Seth Green. I love how he keeps on popping up in some of these projects. I'm dying for a solo project, but until then, I really love the appearances that he makes. Anyway, what's a true spoiler is that no Guardian dies in this film. Looked like it was gonna be Drax, then Star-Lord, but they're all okay by the end. I found that surprising, because James Gunn was teasing and implying that some Guardian wasn't gonna make it. But I'm glad the outcome was what it was. Each Guardian gets their own satisfying send-off. Peter Quill finally goes back home and reunites with his grandpa, the endgame I wanted for the character. Gamora rejoins the Ravengers and finds her new home there. It's actually sad when you think about it, because we know that this is Zoe Saldana's last appearance as Gamora. Meaning that Peter has truly lost Gamora for good. What he once had is gone. But the journey of him moving on is a powerful one explored. Mantis wants to discover herself and explore her own path, essentially cutting ties with the group for the foreseeable future. Nebula and Drax are raising the kids they saved and I just love this ending for Drax. Drax is more than the destroyer, he's a father and he's leaving the team to be a father to these kids. He's at peace now. I love that. Groot breaks the formula and says I love you guys, such a sweet moment. Finally, Star-Lord passes the mantle of leader down to Rocket which leads us into the two post credit scenes. The first one establishes the new Guardians. I liked the lineup very much, we got of course Rocket, Groot, now Kraglin and Cosmo are full time, and Adam Morlock joins as well. They're talking about their favorite tunes and we get a cool and fun throwback to come and get your love. The second post credit scene shows Peter with his grandpa. As it ends, we get the title card, The Legendary Star-Lord Will Return, which was a complete shocker to me and my audience. This movie serves as the conclusion to all the Guardians. Peter has his perfect ending, so the fact that they're leaving the door open for his return took me by surprise. I don't know how to fully feel about this. If I had it my way, I would have Star-Lord's story end here. How the new Guardians and Peter will be handled by someone other than James Gunn? I don't know how that's gonna go. Potentially well if you get the right person, but them showing up in Kang Dynasty under the writing of Jeff Loveness? Like my god, that is a scary thought. But anyway, those are the spoilers that I wanted to talk about. How did you guys like the movie, and how do you feel this send-off was? Did you like it? Do you think it was appropriate? Do you think it worked? How do you feel about Star-Lord returning? Do you welcome that? Let me know in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'll be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.